First, I want to thank the young Liberals for what they have already done for the party. We are very grateful to them <coughs> for all the work which they do in the constituencies and perhaps most particularly at by-elections. But let us be frank, we expect a great deal more work in the future. A party like ours <coughs> must look to its young people for two reasons. First, we are engaged in a long-term operation to change the nature of politics in this country, and therefore we want the up-and-coming generations uh, to be our closest allies. Secondly, even old liberals sometimes find it difficult to appreciate just what reforms and what changes are needed. It is difficult to get people out of their old ways of thinking. Now, the sort of thing we've got to do <coughs> is to uh, make people in this country think about the world at large, about their responsibilities to Africa, to Asia, to other countries which are much poorer than us. Then they've got to think about the new groupings in the world, about the United Nations and Europe and the Commonwealth. And they've got to get rid of the idea that Britain is a little self-contained country which can tend its own garden and needn't look across the channel. Now, this is much easier to do with young people than with old people. Young people have fresh minds. Young people are interested in new ideas. Young people are moved by some idealism, and idealism has been sadly lacking in British politics. Also, when we come to... Uh, really putting liberal policy into practice, we are bound to come up against uh, a certain prejudices. Uh, for instance, take the, uh, the, the hydrogen bomb. Now, we are in favour of Britain giving up its claim to have an independent deterrent. Uh, this comes slap up against a lot of people's feelings that the Union Jack and the British tradition and all that entail having the biggest weapons available under our own control. In the modern world, this is nonsense, but it's difficult to get older people out of that habit of mind. I then take the economy of this country. We have simply got to stop thinking in terms of managers against men. We've got to stop thinking again in terms uh, simply of, of keeping going everything we've been accustomed to. We've got to unite the people, and we've got to bring in new methods, and we have got to get people uh, to embrace new ideas and be keen on them and put them into practice in their industry. Now, in all these ways, we look to youth, and we are a party which has always rejoiced in the independence of youth. We do not expect them uh, to do exactly uh, what uh, we may think right at any given moment. We want their ideas, we want them to make a contribution to liberal policies, and we are more than anxious to hear of their new ideas, to try to, uh, to put them uh, into the general stream of liberal thinking. This is a very different attitude to either the Conservative or the Labour. And therefore, I finish where I began uh, by saying how grateful we are to the Liberal Youth Movement and how much we look to it for the future. Everybody's tired of the Tories. It's getting time we had a change or two We've heard enough of Tory hard luck stories Let's listen to the liberal point of view The socialists will try to nationalize us That's not a democratic thing to do Mr. Wilson must not supervise us It's surely time the Liberals came through It's not too late to make a change Bring ourselves up to date And once again Great Britain could be great With the Liberals in power again Joe Grimmond at the helm We wouldn't have so very long to we must plan the future of our nation With equal opportunity for all Let's go forward in anticipation Get 
Britain moving with the liberals. It's not too late to make a change, bring ourselves up to date. And once again, Great Britain could be great. With liberals in power again, Joe Grimmond at the helm, we wouldn't have so very long to wait. We must plan the future of our nation with equal opportunity for all. Let's go forward in anticipation. Get Britain moving with the liberals. Get Britain moving with the liberals. Get Britain moving with the liberals.